Hi Alphabet Adventures, it's me Marissa and I'm so excited because I just saw Betty's pumpkin right over there. She's rolling over so that we could start the letter of the day game. Oh, let me get, just pick her up. Oh, hi Betty, it's so good to see you. My friends and I are, can't wait to get started on your game. How are you doing? Oh, to be honest, I'm feeling inconsolable. Oh, I'm not positive, but I think inconsolable means that Betty's sad. Why are you so sad, Betty? Oh, well, I can't think of any clues for today's letter. Oh, 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 oh I'm sorry. Oh, don't feel bad, Betty. It's okay, we understand. We'll just come back next week for your new letter, I guess. I do feel kind of disappointed. Well, bye, Betty. Bye, Alphabet Adventures. Here, I'll just put you over here, okay? Raccoon, and I think I can help you with your problem. You, you know what my problem is? I overheard you talking to Marissa. You need some clues, and I've got loads of them. You have a lot of clues? Where? People throw all kinds of things in this very trash can. I'll look for whatever clues you need in here. Wow, that's really nice of you. Oh, no problem. All I need to know is, what's the letter of the day? Um, I can tell you, but, um, Alphabet Adventure, don't listen. I'm going to whisper the letter of the day to Rocky so that we can play our game. Squeak, I'm so excited. I'm all ears. Oh, I can definitely help you with that one. Play with me. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U N V W X and Y and Z Alphabet Adventurers play with me, Marissa from the library. I think I've got just what you need. Let me see. I'm rummaging around. Oh yes. Someone just threw this away. It's delicious. It's a scoop of ice cream. Ice cream? That's perfect. But does it have a bowl? No, it's trash, Betty. Beggars can't be choosers. Ice cream. Thanks. Oh, here's a good one. It's useful, too. When you have wrinkles in your clothes, you can use an iron. Oh, that's a nice one. Yes, here, I'll put it down more gently this time. An iron. Okay, I think I saw one more thing. What is it? You'll see. Here it comes. Oh, what is that? Here it comes. It's a vine of ivy. Oh, ivy leaves are so beautiful. Yes, I think that Marissa and the Alphabet Adventurers will have a lot of fun with these clues. So do I. Thank you, Rocky Raccoon. No problem. Hi, Alphabet Adventurers. It's me again. I was feeling really bad that I left Betty when she was crying, so I decided to come back and cheer her up again. Will you help me? Great. Hey, Betty. Betty the Alphabet Mouse. Oh, Betty, what's this? Well, that's a clue. Betty, you came up with some clues after all? Oh, this is a very melty clue. It's ice cream. Why didn't you put it in a bowl? Oh, sorry. My friend Rocky the Raccoon helped me find the, the clues. Wait a second, Betty. Rocky the Raccoon likes to hang out in the trash can. These aren't clues from the trash again, are they? Um... Sorry, you'll have to watch 
wash your hands when you're done. <laughs> you bet I will. Well, okay, I'm glad that we can play the game anyway. Let's see what else you found. Ice cream and an iron and what was this? Ivy leaves. Iron, ivy, ice cream. I think I might know what the letter of the day is. That's great because just in case I did come up with some ideas, squeak, I hid the letter of the day in that block of ice over there. Oh, awesome. Well, let's go see what's in the block of ice. Okay, I have my safety goggles on and I have the block of ice, which it looks like has something very interesting inside. Let's crack it open with the hammer and see what it is. Here we go. Whoa, look at the ice break apart. Whoa. 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 What's in there? Hmm. Let's see. So we had an iron ice cream, ice, and ivy leaves. What letter makes the I sound? That's the first sound in all of those words, right? I think it might be the letter I. Let's check it out. Oh, it's wrapped up really well. Let's see. Okay. Betty must have wanted the letter I to get wet from the ice. Okay, let's see. I think we're getting close now. Wow, it's inside. The word inside starts with I too. I makes two sounds. Here we go. <gasps> yes! There's uppercase I and lowercase I. Let's go take a closer look. I came inside so that we could get a closer look. We found uppercase I in the ice. Uppercase I starts with a line going down. Then there's a line across the top like a hat and across the bottom like a pair of shoes. That's uppercase I. Inside the ice, we also found lowercase I. Lowercase I is made up of a line going down plus a dot at the top. A line going down and a dot. That's lowercase I. I is a vowel and it makes more than one sound. I can say its name, I. It can also make the I sound, like in inside. I, inside. Plus, I can make an E sound, like in the word police. I is the letter that's making the E sound in that word. Let's say all of the sounds that I can make together. I, I, E. One more time. I, I, E. Now that we know more about the letter of the day, let's go tell Betty that we figured out what it was. Hey, Betty. I brought her pumpkin inside so that she wouldn't be too hot either. It was getting really steamy out there. We're in the middle of a heat wave. Hey, Betty. Hi again, Alphabet Adventures and Marissa. We did, and we're going to sing to you about it. Why don't we use the words inside and ice? Ready? Inside and eyes start with I. Inside and eyes start with I. I, 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 I. Those are some sounds made by letter I. I is for illustration, ink pad, and imagination.
thinking about the tongue twister that I just learned. All of the words start with the letter I. They do? That's the letter of the day! I know! Well, let me hear it! Okay, let me just put down the I. Okay, now I can speak freely. Here we go. Ida identified the ivory iris. Ida identified the ivory iris. Right. What does it mean? Ida identified means a girl named Ida named the ivory iris, the white flower called an iris. Oh, that's cool. I think I can say a pass. Let me hear. Ida identified the ivory iris. Squeak, I did it. Good, now it's my turn. Ida identified the ivory iris. Ida identified the ivory iris. Oh, it's hard to do, but we're doing it. Now it's your turn, Alphabet Adventurer. Let's hear you. We're all ears. Good try. Yee, that's fun. And it makes me think of some jokes. Because tongue twisters make me laugh. Squeak, let's do your jokes. Do you know any jokes with words that start with I? I do. Look, look. Who's there? I see who? I see you! Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I have another one. Let's hear it. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ice cream. Ice cream who? Ice cream if you don't let me in. Squeak. Oh, I have one too. You do? Yes. What do you get when you cross a four-leaf clover with poison ivy. What do you get when you cross a four-leaf clover with poison ivy? A rash of good luck. <laughs> oh, Let's make a craft that seems I for impossible, but it isn't. We are going to make an almost invisible imaginary friend today. These are the things that you need to get started. Some packing tape, some string, a pair of scissors, a hole puncher if you have one, and permanent markers plus some kind of placemat. Now it's important to ask a grown-up if it's okay to use permanent markers before you use them because they can stain and also to ask for permission to use scissors because you don't want to get an injury, right? Let's begin. So I told you that our imaginary friend is going to be almost invisible. That means it's hard to see, right? You can almost see right through it. That's where the tape comes in. You're going to Cut a piece of tape first, or have your grown up help you do it. And let's see. Once you do that, then you're going to fold it, which is the hard part. It's the hardest part of this craft. It's just the very first step. Here we go. So you're going to get a piece of tape like that. And then you're going to cut it off the roll and very carefully you're lay it down on the table with the sticky side up and then fold your tape in half so that all your edges line up with each other and then flatten it out to try to get as few bubbles as possible. You're gonna have some, that's okay. So see, now it, it doesn't have any sticky parts anymore. The sticky parts are on top of each other and that makes it kind of um, like a flexible piece of plastic. So now you're going to draw your imaginary friend. I'm going to make an imaginary monster this time. So I'm gonna put my tape down and then I'm going to get my permanent markers. Blue one here, and I'm going to make my imaginary monster be a very. Oh, the markers not 
working. My <laughs> uterical. <laughs> um, I'm going to make my imaginary monster be spiky. It's a spiky monster. And you can see that I started with a spiky body. You can't see that game because it's almost invisible. But if I hold it up against the white paper, you can. It's a spiky body. And then we're going to add some green swirly eyes. Green swirly eyes with red centers. And then I'm going to add a big pink mouth. And I'm going to give my monster some brown shoes. Okay. So now I have my monster drawn on there. See it? And now we're going to cut it out. Cut out the monster. See, it's really almost invisible. Unless I hold up the paper, you can barely see it. But I know it's there. Now, I'm going to use the hole punch to punch a little hole in the top of my monster. You might want to do that part before you start adding details so that you don't end up with a hole right in the middle of your details. So you can punch a hole, and then once you do that, you're going to take your string and cut it so that it's long enough to be a necklace so that you can carry your imaginary friend with you. So I'm going to Put it through the hole that I made with my hole pincher. Thread it through. And then tie a knot like this. Ta-da! Now I have an imaginary monster necklace. You can't you can barely see it, right? An imaginary monster necklace that I'm going to wear. And I'll show you that I also need an imaginary friend that was a person before. See? The imaginary friend has an eye on his shirt. So you can make whatever you want. Animals, people, monsters. The possibilities are endless and the results are very impressive. Hey, Betty. Yes, Ma? Okay, Betty. Oh, you know what? It's a good thing that we found that letter I before because, you know, without it, that itch would have been something else. What do you mean? Well, without letter I, itchy would be chi. Itchy would be chi. Itchy would be chi. Without letter I, itchy would be chi. We really need that itch. Eh, I. You're right! How interesting! Squeak! That gives me an idea! Oh, what's that? Well, without letter I, idea would be dia. Idea would be dia. Idea would be dia. Without letter I, idea would be dia. We really But what is the idea? Oh, you'll see. I have an idea for what letter to hide next week. So make sure to come back next Wednesday, Alphabet Adventurers, for more ABC Play With Me. Squeak! See you next week. Thanks for watching ABC Play With Me. Come back next Wednesday.